Hey, let's talk football three in general. Uh, look, we made it. We got uh, we're into the college football postseason. The the NFL is you know into its postseason. Is this a win over COVID? Did the did the sport beat the disease? Well, I mean, we're not through it all yet, and um, I am a little bit concerned about what's been going on with Ohio State and and, and the national championship game and uh, what's going on with the Cleveland Browns uh, going going forward. But I think it's a win. I think I think we learned a lot. I think we learned from the NFL. Hey, listen, I'm sorry you've got COVID, but unless it's a major outbreak, you're still going to play. You're going to play with enough players. We can move the schedule around as, as much as we can, but we can't really bend for a week 18, like I suggested. Uh, but for college football, it was a little bit different. It was a bit of a, 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 a push here from the universities, whether or not it was safe. We still got, I still think, the best four teams, and we'll have a champion on Monday. So I, I think it is a win over COVID, per, you know, uh, barring any disaster between now and, you know, Monday night. I think it's still kind of up in the air. Would you allow the college football season to, to flick that game back maybe a week to protect Ohio State if it comes to that? I, I would. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's it's the smarter thing to do. You've got your two teams. Um, uh, I mean, it would be the best interest for not only Ohio State's program, but Justin Fields as well. Maybe he's a little bit more banged up than he should be uh, going out there to play. Uh, I want the two teams as healthy as possible. Uh, you know, you know, Alabama has gone through a, a lot this year with COVID as well. Maybe they need an extra week. It doesn't hurt to wait another six, seven days. Seems to me, Pat, all we have to do is ban Ohio and we're all set. Yeah, that is weird, right? Both of those schools, <laughs> Cleveland's been having problems all season. But, you know, to talk about your initial question, it's inconclusive because let's be real, man. We saw it with the NBA last season. We saw it with the NHL last season. Regular season doesn't matter. The playoffs are what matter. And I do feel like, especially with the story we saw last week with Cleveland, the NFL's tempting fate. You know, there's been talk, are they going to go into a bubble for the playoffs? Even like, you know, an abbreviated bubble where teams live in a hotel and they just go to the or their own practice facilities. Why would you not do that? You have had issues. It's funny. The NFL made a bunch of statements. ESPN was talking about it. CBS Sports. They went a whole season without canceling games. Well, you're conveniently forgetting the chaos that existed that you cannot facilitate during the playoffs. You can't push games off. You can't delay anything. Do you want an NFL team having to play with a guy that's never played quarterback before like the Broncos had to or the Titans that would be missing half of their roster had they had to play against uh, Pittsburgh earlier? I mean, it does seem a little bit arrogant on the NFL's part that they did absolutely nothing to change something that was an imperfect plan to begin with. You know, I look at that Tennessee Bills game and I think that might have been the turning point where Tennessee coming off the whole COVID thing played so yeah. well against Buffalo. And this was easy for the NFL to say, see, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Right, Tariq? To the, to the same point that w, I think you had the time to actually get that extra weekend, push the maybe Super Bowl back a bit, and, and get everybody rested. We made this point before many times on, on the show. If you had taken an extra week, okay, the Browns have this COVID situation. Players get a chance to rest. Everybody gets to deprogram from the regular season. Maybe you go into the, the playoffs a little bit more healthy, a little bit more uh, uh, prepared. Uh, you know, guys maybe have a week to maybe do interviews for coaches, which I don't even think they should talk to a coach until after the Super Bowl is over. Like you give people a chance to de decompress from the most stressful season you've had in the NFL. It would have been smarter to at least give them a week off or have a week 18 to make up the games that would have decided whether or not this team gets a, 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 a draft pick or not. So it's, in, so it's inconclusive at this point, you think, Pat? I mean, look, if, if you have some kind of major issue throughout the NFL playoffs, that's what people are going to remember. They're not going to remember that nobody canceled a game during the regular season. They're going to remember that the Chiefs had to play without X or the Steelers had to play without Y or the Saints had to play without Q. You know what I mean? Like, that will be the lasting image of this NFL season. You still got five, six weeks to go, man. You shouldn't be holding your head over your oh, your arms over your head just yet. Yeah, and Denver had to play with no quarterbacks. That's the one that still gets me.